So now the cutting in is finished all the way around, including the socket, it's now time to roll in. Now the best thing to do is once your roller is fully loaded with paint, is to start about three quarters of the way up the wall and then start to roll. So what we're looking at is starting about here, move it up in one direction and then all the way to the floor. Because what that does, it starts to allow the, the paint to be more evenly distributed across the surface. So when we go to put our second roller on, what we're gonna be doing is starting half a roller width away from the area that we just finished and start the same process again. One roller fall up, all the way to the floor, back up again. This time we move over that half a roller width to the right and then finish that piece off. Once you've applied two, two roller falls, what we can then do is back roll to ensure that we can smooth off the finish a bit more. This aids with coverage, but also at the same time flattens the surface out. So no extra pressure, no more paint, very lightly up and down the surface, flattens the texture and ensures we get much better coverage and repeat. When it comes to painting and rolling around the, the socket or the switches, use limited amount of paint that's on your roller so you don't get too much paint there. But what you're trying to do is make sure that your roller goes close to the switch without touching it. So just gently move your roller so that it's coaxing very closely. What this does is it removes even more brush marks that you use from your cutting in. So the closer you can get, the better the finish. So that's that. We've cut in first, we've rolled second. Before you leave it, just to double check, just to make sure that everything's covered in the first coat, it means your second is much easier to apply. Mm -hmm.